All right, welcome back to New Zero Land. Let's go on a road trip. All right, I'm not even gonna say where we plan to go on this trip because we never made it. Unfortunately, this story doesn't have a happy ending. We started off optimistic though. I met up with Emil and Kaz and we ventured out into the rain to join Tim and his DSR. For some reason, we always meet at gas stations which just become convenience stores when you're on electric bikes. We followed Tim and headed north to get away from the storm. Our first charging stop was in Levin. Usually at campsites you have to go and ask the front desk guy if you can charge there, but nobody was around so we snuck in and plugged in some blue commandos. But right off the bat we ran into charging problems. For some reason we couldn't get the bikes charging at the same time. Another not so fun thing about campsite charging is that campsites are so far away from everything else. So I hitched a ride on the back of Tim's DSR, and we rode into town for some breakfast while my bike charged. Oh boy. Two zero riders on a zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of them's working. Yeah, nice. It's going. So unfortunately, the brain box that I brought is not working. So I'm sharing one with Tim. Unfortunately, that means that our charging speed has just uh, doubled. <laughs> and the wrong way doubled. <laughs> 45 minutes later. All right, charged up, ready to roll, all the way to Wanganui. We've ridden 100 k's so far. We have another 100 k's until we stop again, and then after that, another 100 k's. See ya. We both unplugged around 85 percent, and we figured that should be plenty to get to Wanganui. But as soon as we hit the highway, the wind picked up, and I tried to duck down to conserve range. We stopped for a minute in Bulls to see where each other's batteries were at. What are you at? 30? Oh, 36. 36. What about you? 45. Wow, what's happening? Uh, I've been tucking. Sleepers, uh, that's do you, amazing. Do you think we can make it? I don't know, how far is it? Uh, let's check. Oh yeah, you have the GPS. 40 k's. Uh, what's your, what's your estimated? It says 51 k's. Estimated. Okay, I mean if we go slow, we keep it around 90. Yeah, let's do that, eh? Alright, then we don't have to stop again. The rest of the ride was slow. We averaged around 85 k's an hour just to make sure we get there. In this case, the ride was all about the destination and not the journey. 3% bro! Yeah. <laughs> what are you on? 17! No way! <laughs> it's about 8 k's. Oh my god. Just go as slow as you can. Tim arrived on 0%, but that's kind of a rite of passage to ride a 0 on 0. And like magic, both of our bikes were charging at full power. Charging up! Yeah! <laughs> Check these out, it's so cool! Little flappies! Commandos! Pillow campsite wins! Oh yeah! We're gonna go jump on that! Uh, Oh, <laughs> we were ecstatic. We celebrated. We fed some pie to a chicken. Maybe it was just bad wiring at the campsite in Levin. Maybe there was water in the connectors and riding it dried them out. Everything was working perfectly until it wasn't again. Suddenly Tim's bike stopped charging. Then my bike stopped charging. We probably spent another hour trying to figure out what was going on. But it was getting late and our gas powered comrades had to continue on without us. So man, what happens? Just, we were so close. We made it to Wanganui. We had one more charging stop overnight. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get the bikes back to Wellington. Obviously we can't make it on one charge. So, uh, tow truck, possibly. We're gonna push them. We'll no. see. <laughs> really long extension cord. Yeah, very long extension cord, yeah. Or right. by a petrol engine. 
Yeah, we could do that, right? A generator, hybrid yeah, bikes. Hi yeah, we go, sort it. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching and uh, see you or whatever. Well, if we get back to Wellington. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Peace. By sheer luck, we managed to borrow a truck and a trailer to get our bikes home. But this isn't the way I wanted to end this video. I decided to completely remove the whole DigiNow setup just to try and find out what wasn't working. We initially thought the brain boxes were screwing up, but it could have been a pinched wire or a dirty connector. Right, well, that doesn't look good. I've only had the pan on for maybe three months, and this is what it looks like. Basically the whole thing fills up with water and rocks, and then that turns into mud. And while the chargers themselves are waterproof, Anderson connectors are not. I cleaned up everything the best I could, and so let's see if these chargers work. So I'm just going to test one charger at a time, and I've laid it out so I can kind of explain every little part of it. So this is the, uh, start with this, this is the brain box, the supercharger version 2. Um, I have the 2.5, but I'll start with this one just because I know this one works. Uh, so this connects to the charger. This one, um, you can connect to this via Bluetooth and decide what kind of power you want, and then it tells the charger with this cable uh, how much power to charge at. Um, and then this little thing goes to the bike in the auxiliary charging port and that also connects to the DC um, From the charger that goes to the aux port too. And then uh, There's a fan cable. This is just um, Just to know that the charger is working. Uh, I'm not really gonna charge for very long I'm just gonna make sure it works uh, And then this is the AC that goes out to my little new trick connector just Connected like that pretty easily and then I'll plug this into the wall and see if everything works. This guy, yep, in, and yeah, fan's working. Looks like it's working. Test out charger number two. Yeah, that one seems to be working too. Alright, charger number three. Yeah, it's going. So what does this mean? It means all my chargers work, my version 2 brain box works. Uh, potentially the pan filling up with water and mud and rocks um, screwed with the connections but this means I can go on more road trips so this video has a happy ending so thanks for watching and I will see you guys out on more road trips on the zero